Before we jump into today's video, I just want to give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, AOA.com. To buy runes, any item, weapon, or piece of armor in Elden Ring, check out the link in this video's description and use the code MGREZA at checkout for 3% off your purchase. And here are the four builds we are going to be looking at today. The Moonveil Sorcerer, the Rivers of Blood, the Blasphemous Blade, and the Dragon King's Cragblade build. And as a bonus, I will throw in the Bolt of Grand Sax as well. Now for the damage testing, I've used the Onyx Lord, as he has the most unbiased resistances in the game. The fight is in New Game Plus, so he has more health, as all these builds do insane damage. Now ranked 4th on my list is probably going to surprise most of you, as it has a fan favourite with the most views out of all my build videos, the Rivers of Blood build. Now don't get me wrong, this is still a very strong build, and if you like bleed builds, this is definitely the way to go. Doing a massive 5053 damage in one attack cycle, it has the highest damage out of all the builds, but realistic damage per hit would only be 1348, as with this playstyle you would attack then dodge, rather than doing the full attack cycle as you would usually get hit. It clears trash quickly as it attacks multiple targets and racks up bleed damage fast, but it has the closest range out of the 4 builds, meaning you will need to dodge a lot more to avoid attacks and while you are dodging, you are losing DPS. Another reason for its rank is some bosses are immune to bleed, including the last boss, which will make them considerably harder to defeat. Ranked third on my list is another katana, the Moonveil Sorcerer build. Now it was hard to separate these two builds, as Moonveil actually does the lowest realistic damage per hit of 1281, but the reason I think it earns its spot at number 3, as it is an int build, meaning you have every sorcery in the game at your disposal. <coughs> Not only that, Moonveil has a lot further range than the Rivers of Blood, making the playstyle a little easier, also doing incredible poise damage, even after the nerf, so you can stagger bosses and get in them critical hits for extra damage. Now these next two are the absolute two best builds in the game at the minute for me, and were hard to separate, but narrowly, in second place, is my lightning build. Not only does the Dragon King's Cragblade do incredible damage, killing the Onyx Lord in only 3 hits with the highest realistic damage per hit of 2,479, this build also comes with a second weapon that is equally as devastating. If you need long range, you can swap out your weapon for the Bolt of Grand Sax, as both these weapons scales with decks, so both can be interchanged whenever you need them. With pinpoint accuracy and the longest range in the game, these weapons can trivialize bosses, killing them before they can even get close to you. Both these weapons are very hard hitting, but have very slow attacks, and are the slowest out of the four builds, so may struggle against bosses with smaller attack windows. Also, the Bolt is single target, so you cannot attack multiple enemies at once, so it may slow down playthroughs. Now here it is, the ultimate top build of Elden Ring right now, the Blasphemous Blade. Not only does it do a realistic damage per hit of 2159, but it also staggers bosses to keep them at a distance, which is another great strength of this build. Its incredible range means you can play safely, keeping your distance, while unleashing relentless fire damage down on your enemies. This weapon can also attack multiple enemies at once, making clearing areas super fast. Not many enemies have fire resistance, and even the last boss is weak to fire. But this weapon doesn't even stop there. The Blasphemous Blade also heals you 20% every time you attack an enemy, but also heals you 6.5% of your health every time you kill an enemy. So you don't even need to use flasks with this build. This build hasn't even finished yet, it is also a faith build, meaning you have access to all the incantations in the game, making it a truly versatile build that can just about do anything. Making the Blasphemous Blade for me, the best build to easily complete Elden Ring right now. If you would like to see any of these builds in full, make sure to check out my other videos. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you try out some of these builds. Let me know in the comments below which builds are your favourites, or maybe something that wasn't even in the video. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time.